Y'all already know what I came to do. I came to holler at you on a beautiful Tuesday. I just got through seeing somebody inbox me and ask me what I thought about Tyrese, right? So Tyrese did a Welcome to the bigger play where the rubber meets the road and we get straight to it. Appreciate you being here. Boom. We got to address a vulnerable man. Somebody inboxed me. Tyrese did a Breakfast Club interview. They inboxed me a clip. I went and took a look at it, did a reaction to it. Charlemagne then was interviewing Tyrese and he became emotional. And Charlemagne was asking me, have you had any therapy or counseling in regards to all the things you've been through? Two sisters passed away. Mama passed away in 92. Uh, lost his wife to a divorce. And he was just on there being vulnerable. Now, let's talk about a vulnerable man in 2024. So you got... Men talking now, we sassy. Uh, you got, we emotional. We ain't emotionally intelligent. Like, he a narcissist. Uh, he too masculine. He aggressive. People throwing these things around. Because what I'm seeing is the feminine energy of the world trying to supersede the masculine energy of the world. Hence, you get all oh, he too sassy and vulnerable. Tyrese on the Breakfast Club trying to take his time. And I know Charlemagne got to play his role, right? But Tyrese serious. Like, you need some tissue? Nah, get him high. Ain't nothing funny. Dude really trying to talk. And sometimes when people are trying to talk, regardless of what, you have to let them get it out. You have to listen. But a lot of men can't do that because the universe have showed men, well, not the universe, I take that back. People in the world have shown men, we don't care about you. The universe don't show us that. The universe show us the essence of the universe innately shows us that you the truth. We is is you are who you are. It don't move without your energy. But the people, the influence of the people show the man, we don't really care about you. That's why you will have a man emotional and shedding tears because he a human being that's having a walk that even though other people feel that walk, other men, real men, he still feel alone because a man will step up to the plate and do his best to take care of everything and everybody. He'll facilitate a, a order of respect to well, I'm taking care of the family and taking care of me literally like being there as much as you can at his expense, running around at his ex health expense, tired, getting up, coming home, doing this, doing that, doing this, doing that. Nobody appreciated. We all see Father's Day. You might got a few selective people that show the love that they should to the man, but in a general synopsis of things, People don't show that man the level of respect he deserves. Or they try to compare that man to the next man that ain't getting that level of respect either. If your daddy buy you something, and I can't afford to buy you that, but I can show afford to do what I can on my level, you're supposed to always respect your father for that. But because the imagery of the world, imagery, it's a very crucial thing. Subconsciously it affects you. You'll be focused on the next person in their situation as opposed to focusing on yours because you feel like what you saying, you like what they showing you. It's a lot of cap in this world, man. And people don't recognize real. See, where I come from, real used to recognize real. Now people don't recognize real because too many people 
believe that the fake is the real. It's a conversation for another day. But what I want to talk about is the way Tyrese showed that vulnerability and put it out. People going, you know, it's a funny world we in now. So people going to meme them. You know, people going to laugh, talk down. But I felt them and it was solid. So a vulnerable man is a beautiful thing, but it's precious. And it's, you know, because a vulnerable man could be an emotional man and a balanced man, but it also could be a man that's been on so long right there able to snap in that vulnerability. So you got to be real cognitive of which one that is. You understand? And you can also check on the man. Well, people don't check on us. You know, people don't check on the man. The man just be, you know, as a camaraderie, we try to check on each other, but for real, you know, surface. That man can't do nothing. A lot of people ain't tapping in with him. That man, music ain't hot no more. A lot of people ain't tapping in with him. That man, pocketbook ain't right no more. A lot of people ain't tapping in with him. That man ain't riding the same thing. That man ain't dressing the same. That man hang the same. That man ain't got his liners no more. One of that man teeth got crooked and it got, it got black. They treating that man different. Mm-hmm. Is what it is, right? So I was thinking about that, and I say, man, what's happening with the shift to where you don't see a lot of men doing that, even though they feeling that? I said, well, I said, uh, Oprah, Wendy Williams, Sally Jesse, Raphael, Jenny Jones, Ricky Lake. Rosie O'Donnell, man, it's just Tyra Banks, the Cosmopolitan Magazine, the People Magazine, all the fashion shows, Jet, Ebony, all these things was superseding masculinity and we didn't peep it. So it superseded masculinity to sell merchandise because women is one of the number one Y'all know who's spending money, you know. We all spending, but we understand if you cater to a certain demographic, what's going to happen. So that superseded some things. So why Tyrese over here in his feelings, being a, being a vulnerable man, you got that part over here saying, where we at? Where we at? We had Steve Harvey. Cater to the women. We had Phil Donahue. Cater to the women. We had Montel. Cater to the women. You had our senior. You know, you put present and nothing against certain guys, and but you put somebody up there that look a certain way. A man that get up and work every day gonna have dirty nails. I'm talking about work. I ain't talking about Wall Street work. I'm talking about work, construction worker. He don't got nothing to say. Why he ain't never sat in front of the man that's down in the in the trenches facilitating steel mill workers, the garbage men. The people building some of these amazing infrastructures that's getting dirty. He got something to say. Ain't nobody sat him on that TV and gave him no talk show. When you get out work, can you come talk to us for 15 minutes? I know I'm going somewhere where you probably don't understand. I'm just saying. Ain't nobody trying to hear. So let's remove that part. So when the dudes here, buddy over here being vulnerable, they going to laugh at him. Make a meme out of him, and they, we're going to make sure we make sure the women blame him for what he didn't do. I always talk about why do people always focus on the 10 to 15% of what a man don't do or what he lack it or what his flaws at, as opposed to the 75 to 85% of the things that he do do. They'll take that 15 and make that 15 bigger than that 85. 
and focus on that 15 to make that 85 less valuable. No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah, we ain't going to worry about none of that good stuff he's doing. We're going to focus on these because these are more important. Nah. That's just a way to tear the man down. You see? That's why a man can't identify with it behind closed doors. He going to what Tyrese doing, but he ain't got no platform, and he afraid to come if he do got a platform to really put that type of energy out there because he know he's going to get clowned as a result. You can look at it different ways, but it's really an amazing thing because it's a man crying out for help, but ain't nobody going to help him, so they make that thing less amazing. They make it damn near like you shouldn't be doing that. And that's what the world will preach. That's why you have somebody over there laughing and giggling when it ain't no laughing and giggly situation. You're trying to lighten the mold when you, you ask the man a question. The mold got serious. The mold's serious. So let's be serious. That's it. It ain't nothing else. Mm-hmm. People try to make it something that it ain't, but it ain't nothing else. When it get there, it get there. You did? A vulnerable man. You having a good day today? Can tell you to have a good day, and I'll see you in a little while. All right.